Telecaster guy here. The Grand Jam, you know, I got my Grand Jam shirt on. If you've ever been to this festival, uh, we play this festival every year. It's at the end of June, and uh, it's in Afton, Oklahoma, at the Grand Meridian RV Park. Man, go make plans to be there next year. We had a blast there this year. I don't know how many people were there, two or three thousand, maybe. Hey, man. And I miss, I love doing videos for you guys. And uh, so, uh, I hope you guys are hanging in there. In this crazy, crazy world, y'all. I'll do you, uh, uh, let me show you another lick in the, let's do it E, E major. I think I've showed you this lick before. That's a good practice right there. Son, you know, the old. Telecaster on playing, of course, you guys know. And this is a, another made in Mexico telly. It's a 2018. It's all stock. Sounds really good. I'm not playing through a pedal board. I'm playing through my Fuchs 100 watt head. I love this head. Awesome. And uh, my Mesa Boogie Cab over 112. But this guitar is for sale. I got another question for you guys. Any of you guys ever played through the uh, the amp modelers, you know, like a like a fractal or or Kemper? I'm just wondering what you guys or thoughts on that stuff instead of actually an amp. You can actually play the fractals and the campers through an amp if you wanted to, uh, which is really cool. And uh, and I've, I've I've messed around with them. I haven't played with them a bunch, but I've, I've messed around with them. But for the people out there that has played through them or have heard about it or done research, 
man, give me your input. I'm I'm really looking into that too for video purposes and recording to have a different have a different option, a different sound along with my tube stuff. I've got this tube head. This is a Fuchs 100 watt head. It's basically a Dumble clone. Is what that is. And then I also have a, a 66 Blackface Vibrolux, all original. Probably one of my favorite amps I've ever had. And then I've also have the little dude amp that's incredible. <laughs> But I'd be real curious on what your opinion is of the Fractal or the Kemper, Line 6, Helix, whatever. Whatever your experience is with that stuff and uh, see, what your, see what your input is on that. I know some guys like them, some guys don't. Some guys, some guys only want the tube amps and I get that, man. I love tubes. I'm all about tubes. And I get that some people are high on the Kempers and high on the Fractals. And I kind of like that too. I like them both. And uh, so I'm just wanting to know your input. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Crazy world right now, y'all. Y'all take care of each other. And uh, make sure you subscribe, man. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, hit the subscribe button over here. I think it's right down there. But anyway, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps uh, with Google. And if you don't like it, hit me a, give me a dislike. That's fine. <coughs> but uh, leave me a comment, man. Let's get some discussions going on. I'd really like to have you input on the fractals and the and the Kempers versus, you know, the blackface stuff, you know, the tubes like this and uh, my Barberlux and little dudes. I mean, I'm still going to keep those two. I mean, I sell amps. The only amp I wouldn't sell that I have is actually the uh, the Blackface Fiber Lux and my little dude. I'd sell the. I'd probably sell the Fuchs if somebody wanted it bad enough. It's a double clone. It sounds amazing, and I love that amp. I've had this amp for quite a while now, two three years. It just sounds really really. Good. Work on your minor pentatonic. Album. If you haven't, if you don't know that. see the Grand Jam next year, last week in June, Afton, Oklahoma, Grand Meridian RV Park. God bless. Take care.